Dozens of people are injured after several weekend mass shootings. And some law enforcement warn the violence is likely to increase. Garrett Tenney has more. It was a violent Easter weekend across the country. Three mass shootings leaving at least two teenagers dead and dozens injured. South Carolina authorities are investigating a lounge shooting that wounded at least nine people early Sunday. About 90 miles to the north in Columbia, more than a dozen people injured after gunfire erupted Saturday at a shopping mall. Police believe a dispute among at least three people led to the violence. They charged 22-year-old Jawayne Price with unlawful possession of a gun. He was released on house arrest after a judge sent bond at just $25,000, allowing him to go to work with an ankle monitor. When I tell you people were coming out of every single exit as fast as possible, it was a, um, it was a pretty serious situation. And in Pittsburgh, two teenagers were killed during a party at a short-term rental home. Police say they believe multiple shooters were involved. To look at it and there's blood on the second floor window and stuff like that. That is like really, really messed up. The shootings come as major cities see a spike in crime. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says the increase is a national issue and he's urging officials to rebuild trust with the community. We can't rebuild that trust by allowing those who are dangerous and that have they have a repeated history of violence to continue to be uh, on our streets. And with summer approaching, authorities are warning that violence rates will likely increase as the temperatures rise. In Chicago, I'm Garrett Tenney, Fox News.